Well, we're starting to welcome people to this year's Acquire or Be Acquired conference, where we're at the JW Marriott Desert Ridge in Phoenix, Arizona. We have a huge turnout this year. We have nearly 1,100 people coming from all over the United States to participate in what has become really a growth-oriented conference. As we prepare for this, I think it's important that I share how I plan to use these video blogs over the next few days. The last few years, I've tried to make my remarks specific to a bank's CEO and outside directors. But I think as the nature of banking continues to evolve, it's important that I share perspectives and facts that rarely represent the entire industry. So when I think about what's going on, I think there's three areas I want to focus on. The first are the external trends that are really impacting the way banking could be done in the future. We've all heard of Airbnb. We know that people are starting to put their houses up on the market for short-term rentals to make a little bit of extra cash on the side. But what you may not know is that Airbnb has been making some noise about buying a travel agency and also a payments company. And I think this is really interesting if you're running a financial institution today because it's not just Uber that's trying to move into more adjacent mature markets. And if you have Airbnb making models that people feel comfortable with as a consumer, what does that mean to you as you run your bank? Internally, there's some trends that I'm seeing as well. You know, Pinnacle Bank is based in Nashville, Tennessee, and last year they did a deal for Avenue Bank. Well, they just picked up Bank of North Carolina, and this really expands their footprint to make them more of a regional player. And I think that's something we're going to see more of over the next few years as bank consolidation continues. Finally, if you think about some of the more innovative companies that are out there, I'd look at Amazon and BBVA. Earlier this week, they announced a partnership that I find really compelling for most of us to know and to understand. BBVA is going to introduce Amazon's lockers to their bank branches. And this is an attempt to really boost the foot traffic into what most people consider a dying part of the banking ecosystem. So if this works, what does that mean for others that want to get creative? I'm not really sure, but I would encourage people to look at BBVA and Amazon Locker for more as that, pro as that pilot program rolls out. Now, we're going to be sharing all this information throughout the conference on all of our channels. We have bankdirector.com widely read and immediately available. We also have finextech.com, which is our fintech-focused sister platform. We're using our social channels. We're at Bank Director. We're at Finextech and we're going to be using the hashtag AOBA17 throughout this program.